Hello, stock traders. I hope all of you had a successful day on Wednesday. That was a tough day for sure. The market really didn't react well to certain news events. And overall, we are still holding on to this little pullback. Times are coming. So far this November, my calls have just been barely up, but they're up 2.05% so far this month. So, so far, so good. Year to date, personally, I am at a 190.45% gain. Uh, definitely suffering a little bit from this pullback, but looking forward to better times moving on. Now, I am not a financial advisor. Of course, you need to do your own due diligence, but if you have solid stock trading strategies and you follow them day after day and you have the discipline to stick with it and follow those exit points when it's time to exit and those entry points when it's time to enter then you can have triple digit gains and that is what we talk about here in this channel is stocks that have a strategy behind it whether it be the insider swing play the pdufa run-up play the buyback strategy the long-term dividend strategy the dat plays that are option plays there are are so many different strategies that I use on a daily basis depending upon market situations there's times to be an option seller there's times to be an options buyer although options are risky and man they are tough to manage you have to be really really right before going in on them before we get going in this video, if you could do me a favor and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when a new video comes out. We do have a Patreon group. We have a link in the description down below. That basic membership is a great place to start. It's $27 a month. You will easily make that up with one great trade. In that room, we cover the Insider Swing Play and the PDUFA Run-Up Play, which has had a fantastic year. Uh, so today, in today's video, I'm going to talk about what is coming, where I think the market is going, what is coming. And I'm also going to give you one stock that you really need in your portfolio. This is one I haven't talked about yet in this video series, but I really, really like it. I'm going to explain why and where I think it's going. And I think and if you agree, it might be worth investing a few bucks into it. I think it's going to do well. I have a couple sales to report. I sold SKLZ for a 4.93% loss. It hit its exit point. No matter what, when a stock hits my exit point per my strategy, I have the discipline to sell it, even if it's at a loss. You have to sell it before it gets worse. I also sold XELA for a 4.33% loss. Of course, it hurts that it didn't work out. But, you know, so many investors, especially when you're brand new, hold on to a loser and just wait for it to turn around. Well, the opportunity cost kills you. So even if that turns into a modest gain over that long period of time, you didn't have that money available to take advantage of other things that had fresher strategies to it had more pop to it because it had a catalyst either behind it or a catalyst to run up to that was very powerful so it is so important to cut your losses not every stock that you trade is going to be a gainer the insider swing play has a 70 percent win rate but it has an average gain per pick of three percent it does that because even those losers, you cut those losers loose and then you get the better stocks that have the fresh insider activity. That's how it works. PDUFA run up. So many people hold them through FDA decision date. That is a bad idea. I've done that. It stinks. It does not work out for you. This is a run up strategy. So you exit when it's time to exit. Anyway, I just want to encourage you out there to develop a strategy and to stick with it. It does you no good to have a strategy and then waffle on exit points. You have to have clear, defined reasons of why to exit a stock. All right, before we get going, let's take a look at the SPY. The market has definitely been pulling back. It's important to take a look. Let's take a look here. So you can see we're on this monster wave one. We've had this wave one. Now we're in wave two. And we're just kind of chopping around. It's chop city out here. We had an all-time high. Then we had the pullback. Now we've bounced a little bit up. Now we're waffling. I expect it to be just a little bit higher and to form a higher low. Now, that is what you need to watch for because when it forms that higher low, 
And if it starts to turn upwards and we get an all-time high, this thing will spike and it will go nuts and the market will go back up again. And so you will want to make sure and take advantage of this dip. You want to buy at support and you want to sell at resistance. And right now the market is coming down a little bit. We had a MACD negative cross here. So we had some things where it is pulling back, but these bulls, they're gonna get in there and they're most likely going to buy this dip. This market is extremely bullish still, and I do not think a stock correction or anything like that is going to happen at this time. This is wave two, this is not wave five. And so it's really under, really important to understand the Elliott wave and how it works. It helps you to know where you're at and gives you conviction knowing, okay, well, we're not in a bad part here. There's no reason to panic. It helps you to not panic and that makes you money by not panicking and selling out your stocks at huge losses. All right, so let's get into the stock that I'm talking about. I have one stock today, only one stock, but I really, really like this, very high conviction. This is an insider swing play and we're gonna talk about it here. All right, so the company is Krispy Kreme, ticker symbol D-N-U-T. This is an insider swing play. My average in it is $14.88. Since calling it out, it's only up 0.67%. So if you're watching this video on Thursday morning, you really haven't missed anything. This one still has so much room to run. And I kind of have three different targets for this. The first target is right at $15 and 21 cents, which is not very much higher. So that's coming right up. There is that, there's this little gap here that really hasn't fully filled yet. And it's right at 1520, so I like it to fill that gap in the very, very short term. Maybe as early as when you're watching this video, it could fill that gap. The next gap is $16.40. I like it to get up here because this is a level of previous resistance. And so I could see it moving up here. I'm gonna kind of talk about the catalyst that's behind it that is causing this surge in the stock price. The next is $17.50 as a target and then from there we should see all-time highs as it continues upwards so here's what's going on so two days ago the sec in a form 4 reported lucretia say bought 1.3 million dollars worth of shares the ceo bought 550,000, and oliver godet billionaire bought 700,000. you might be like to a billionaire 700,000 is not that much money. Yes, you are correct, but it is three different officers going in at the same time, all being reported on the same day. And so that was pretty key, and that was right here. And what do you see they bought right here? What happened? Well, we had a break above the 50-day SMA line, and then it came back and bounced on that 50-day SMA, and now is moving upwards. You can see where it bounced again here, where it it's now above it and now it's moving upwards, finally had a good day today. Well, yesterday, Lucretia Say bought another 2.6 million. So that's two days in a row. And today in aftermarket, uh, this being recorded on Wednesday evening, Lucretia Say went in and bought another 3.3 million. That is really, really bullish. It's one of the things I love to see. I love to see an insider who buys stock one day, the next day goes, oh, I would like some more, please. More soup, please. No, I, that was terrible. I'm, I apologize for that. But goes in and buys more shares. And then the next day, it happens again. And uh, that is very, very bullish. I've had a lot of luck in following those type of stocks. I expect the stock price of this to move upwards as it hits those price targets for it to really move up, especially if the insider activity continues. As that becomes more known, different analysts report on the insider activity. All of a sudden now you have an article come out on Seeking Alpha saying, watch this stock, it's had all this insider activity. Well, that's kind of old news to me who's been looking at the Forum 4s and those who look at those kind of things. Uh, but it's news to the, a lot of those beginner investors and they think, ooh, donuts, I like donuts. I'm gonna buy some donuts, D-N-U-T. That's a cool thing. So, and, and that's just kind of what happens. But I like this one for a big move. Hopefully all of you like it also and you agree with my synopsis on it. Now, some reasons to exit, and I don't talk about exit points too often. I save that for my Patreon members. But one reason why I would look to exit this, one thing is if it became overbought 
on the daily RSI. What do I mean by that? If it gets over 70 on this line right here, this is the RSI, so you can see this. If it gets over 70, I would consider selling with price strength. That means that there's too many buyers in it and it is overvalued for the price at that time. Some other things, so some reasons why I would exit the stock is if the insider activity stopped and it stopped for a lot of days in a row, so it just kind of all dried up. Now the excitement's gone. There's no new catalyst. There's no new big money going in. Uh, there's nothing for those beginner investors and those FOMOers to uh, panic over that they're going to miss out. That would be a reason, another reason to exit the stock. The other thing is if it had a horrible news event, let's say Krispy Kreme, and I don't expect this to happen, for them to say, oh, we're out of cash. We need to do an offering and dilute shares. Well, that would be a reason to sell immediately. And so one way I protect myself with that is I have certain alerts on certain SEC filings. And if an SEC filing matches something like that on a, on a company in my portfolio, I get an alert and that is why I pay for that service and it's such a good service to have. Uh, if you if you don't have news filter, they don't pay me anything. I'm not going to provide a link. It's newsfilter.io, um, but it is a terrific service and I love it and use it each and every day. I wish you all the best on the stock market. Please be careful out there and Buy stocks that you have a strategy for. Don't just randomly buy things because you hear, oh, this might squeeze or this might do that. And I know I do a squeeze video, but I do a squeeze video based upon stats that it could squeeze. So I have a reason for going in. I have a reason for getting out. I have a plan. Have a plan for each and every stock that you enter. It will help to make you more successful. I wish you all the best on the stock market and Raytoven out.